What's up, everybody? Aku here, here, and welcome back to another episode of Redstone Mini. Today is random redstone something episode day. I have no idea, but anyway, I've built two redstone machines that I have that I thought were kind of cool. And again, these don't have the best designs. I was just playing around, and I thought you guys could maybe improve them, make them better, or just play around with them. So, um, let's check them out. Welcome back everybody, so this is the thing I was playing with, it's kind of like a spammer machine, but this one can do a lot more things and looks probably a hundred times better. And that, kind of ignore that big hole, I was playing with the new redstone design and it went bad and poof, it exploded. <laughs> so anyway guys, um, I'm going to be showing you guys this and that big green thing over there, which does surprisingly nothing for how big it is, but we'll take a look at that in a second. So, really... What this is, is it, it's hooked up to a redstone clock. These are all dispensers, and they will shoot out stuff. And if you're wondering what this big wire of redstone does, is this just activates every single one of these dispensers. So, if we take a redstone torch and put it in the clock, all these will be activated um, in a very quick pattern. So, as you guys can see, they'll be activated very quick. And in these dispensers, we can put TNT arrows, flame charges, XP bottles, and snowballs, and also potions, but potions would take way too many, well, we need a lot of potions to fill each of them, and potions are only like, um, you can only put one in your inventory, and you can't put like 64, so it would kind of be, we'd need a whole storage system for it, and I don't feel like dealing with that, but I will actually be showing you guys each of these uh, fighting off quickly and obviously TNT will be last because with the TNT it'll kind of blow up yeah but <laughs> just because it's gonna blow up in the end I'm just gonna show you the pros and cons now before its destruction so some of the pros are it looks cool um, it looks cool yeah it's pretty cool and lastly yes it is pretty cool <laughs> yeah Cons, it's expensive and timely. So, really, this has no use in general survival. This is just, again, for creative fun and that it looks amazing. And probably, by the way, guys, I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting out because I'm going to need to fill the dispensers over and over. So, real quick, I'm going to fill every dispenser with snowballs and I'll see you guys when that is done. So, guys, we are back and I have filled every single one of these dispensers with snowballs. As you can see, this chest is empty and has no snowballs in it. So, once we put this down, snowballs will go everywhere and it will look awesome. So, let's get started. Well, guys, in my opinion, that looked actually really amazing. That kind of looked really really cool so next guys we will try the xp bottles which somehow jumped out of its frame and this will probably cause a lot of lag because there will be a lot of xp flying around but don't worry i'll clean it up after so i'll see you guys when the xp bottles are in once again guys we are back and this time i have filled every single one of the dispensers with xp bottles and as you can see most of them are gone and without further ado let's turn on the machine and once again, guys, this is going to cause a lot of lag, so if the frame, rate, frame, <laughs> frame rates get a little bit bad, uh, please understand. Uh, well, guys, yeah, um, I didn't let it go too long because, I, like I said, if I went any longer, uh, the game probably would have crashed. And somehow now I need to collect all this beautiful xp so um i'm just gonna do it now when i come back i w i will fill all of it with flame charges and yeah i'll see you guys when that's done once again guys welcome back and now i have filled all the dispensers with flame charges and guys you might see a couple more tnt holes around and that's because the xp drove me nuts my frame rate went to where i can't walk so the best solution was blow up all the XP. I got a piece of TNT and a redstone torch and boom, just got rid of all the XP in about four different locations, as you guys could probably tell. But enough of that, let's get to the flame charges. And that was a horrible fail because it didn't make a clock. Let's try that again.
And guys, that was a fire charge. In my opinion, that looked amazing. It was like a tornado of fire. And let's just say if you were in a Minecraft war, you would probably win with this. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we've got two more things to test out. The arrows and the TNT. So, let's get the arrows done and then we can get to the exciting TNT. The arrows are set, so let's just do it. Alright, well that's the arrows done, and probably the best part of the arrows, picking them up. Yeah, look at all the arrows. So lastly, we have the TNT, which I will do right now, and as you know guys, that will be the end of this machine. So, if somehow this recording goes bad, I will not be able to do it again, but... I'm guessing if you're seeing this, everything went well. So guys, let me do the TNT, and I will be back with you guys in a little bit. Lastly, the TNT are in, and this will be the destruction of this machine. So, <laughs> let's get started. And in one big swoop, all we have is an obsidian platform. Yep. So, oh, whoa, <laughs> I'm still getting arrows. Are, inter are arrows under here? That's interesting. That's honestly quite weird, too. So, guys, yeah, that has been that. Now we are going to be looking at this. This is an elevator, and obviously this is probably the worst elevator ever built. The design is horrible. It looks horrible. It has no use, but... I still think it's pretty cool. I mean, honestly, if, if I could build anything, probably my worst suit is elevators. I cannot build elevators for anything, so this is probably my attempt at it. And I know I could build a better one than this. It's just I was just kind of having fun at the time. So really how this works is one by one, each piston gets pushed up until you get all the way to the top, which is right here. So... Yeah, and then the switch is right over here. So really what happens is you go over here, you stand on this piston, you push this button, and you go up. So you stand here, you push the button, and you go all the way up. And I guess it's pretty fast. And my phone just went off, awesome. You end up going to the top, getting pushed back, and it goes down, and you are here. So I mean, I guess the elevator works. It's not exactly efficient, but let's just go down. And again, like I said, to reload, you just kind of put them back. Now, let's go look at the pros and cons of this elevator that practically has no use. Um, wow, this episode did not go like I planned. The pros and the cons got blown up. Amazing. Alright, well, I kind of know them. Pros, it gets you up high. Another pro is that it looks kind of cool, I guess. And the cons are, it's not fit for survival because it obviously takes too many materials too big, too bulky, doesn't really work amazingly, so yeah. Again, today's episode was just all for fun, and as you can see, we had a lot of fun because the land looks destroyed, <laughs> real destroyed. So guys, anyway, thank you for watching, make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.